Okay, quick talk. Boon totems were semi-leaked with the update, and with it we have even more proof that if the devs needed to prove they understood the game before they could implement changes, they'd be that 35-year-old guy who could never pass their driver's test and their mom drives them to work. Space Coconut so for the longest time, the community has suggested that a solution to the Hex perk issue would be that a killer could activate the perk themselves on a dull totem. The devs thought that was a great idea and gave it to the survivors. While annoying, it's not a big deal. But what is a big deal is the fact that the devs clearly don't understand that the time crunch in the game lies against the killer. And now they gave them another thing to worry about. The description for Boom Perks uh, says this. Survivor perks, called Boon perks, will transform a dull totem into a Boon totem when blessed by a survivor. Killers can snuff out Boon totems to deactivate the associated Boon perk and dispel its blessings. We don't know how strong the Boon perks will be, so we can't say for sure that Boon perks will absolutely need to be eliminated or if they can be left alone for the most part. We'll see when we get the survivor in the next patch. But here's the thing. Remember Breakable Walls? Players were very excited to have this addition to the game that was supposed to make changes more interesting and take care of the pseudo-infinites that existed. And what did the devs do? They behaviored all over it. Now Breakable Walls are infinites, and if killers want to preemptively disrupt those, they have to take time out of hunting survivors to take out the walls in the first place. It's not very fluid, and it's not very fun. I'm assuming that the majority of the community agrees. And as such, the devs have still not done anything about it and continued the same implementation across other maps. The Reddit thread I checked on the topic had many smart people making the same observations and assumptions I did. Can't wait for the matches on indoor maps where both the killer and all of the survivors are running around in the middle of a bum... <laughs> Uh, in the middle of nowhere, trying to find the other side's totems. Players, hey, wouldn't it be cool to choose where you can put your hex totems? Divs, we hear you. Survivor can now put their totems wherever they want. Players, wait, what? Feels a bit strange adding secondary objectives for killers when they're already under such immense time pressure. It almost feels like the balance team is either completely out of touch with the player base or so consumed by their ego that they refuse to listen and rectify past errors, be it perks, which are too weak, strong, mechanics such as the breakable walls. Killer's biggest problem is time, and the meta is ruin undying, so taking dull totem spots is a pretty big killer nerf. Even less people will play killers, yay. Yeah, give the killer even more things to worry about during a game. Cool, give killers more BS to deal with in a match, lol. Killers are pressed for time as it is, secondary objectives for them is a terrible idea. Because survivors need help. Sounds like a terrible idea given the current state of the game. I really don't like the idea of adding more survivor pressure against the killer in a survivor dominant game. How are you meant to defend a decreasing number of gens when survivors plant a boon totem that is hurting you on the other side of the map? Too early to say, obviously, but I think this is a really bad idea. If you want to be part of that conversation, the link to the thread is in the description, and I highly suggest that you make a forum thread in the feedback section regarding it, even though we all know what the devs do with our feedback. Remember what they did with the feedback for breakable walls. The devs don't play the game enough to make these kinds of changes. It's very obvious to anyone willing to pay attention. So yet, another reason for me to continue playing Final Fantasy XIV over Dead by Daylight, and a possible reason that will keep other players on a break away from the game as well. I just wanted to say my piece, just really quick. As always, we'll see what happens, but seriously, how many times have I been wrong? Oh, by the way, nice connection issues. Until next time, I'm Space Coconut, and you're welcome.